Okay, here's the app. You can see I'm currently offline. Now I'm online, which I've never used Uber Eats. Okay, online, going online, there I am. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna put my phone in an obtrusive place and watch what happens. We'll see how it goes. But unfortunately there's an accident right over there, which is where I have to go. Anyway, let's go check it. <laughs> I guess I can back this up a bit. Anyway, let's go check out that accident that's over there. I want to go straight and watch the cop drive over the curb. Ah, uh, cop just ruined the grass. Very first bite. Queen Street East at Barbarito. Queen and Dixie. Alright, let's go. Okay. like this app as much as skip the dishes so far because I can't really see an order number I can't tell them an order number and they kind of the guess what the phone says so okay now where am I taking this thing park near the restaurant go in there say hmm, it doesn't say anything okay I got it I don't know which one is a start and which one's a finish. That's that guy there. He's got a bag and he's going to pick up for Uber Eats. He's getting a pizza. There's a lot of dudes that do this. Oh, this place wasn't easy to find because it's in a motel. Any cutlery, are you Second order, that took all of five minutes. This one says it's 10 minutes away. Let's go check it out. Hey, it's 6.42. It seemed like this five minutes ago, it was six o'clock. So I got a second order. This camera's angled funny. So I got a second order, but I came down here. Long story short, so I come down to an area I don't know very well. Apparently, it says it's in 50 Kennedy Road South. I go to 50 Kennedy Road South. I think it was a mall, a plaza, but I couldn't really tell because there's no numbers on it, and there's a couple of stores around there. And this building here is number 49. This building here you would think would be number 50, and it's not. So I walk in there, I walk around the mall. 
um, I called the number that was there. I called Saigon House, and she's like, yeah, we're in the mall. I go, where are you in the mall? And she's like, well, call me back in five minutes, I'll tell you. So I had the option of canceling the order, which I just did. At McDonald's, Highway 10, and Ray Lawson. So another one. Who the fuck was McDonald's? Make a left turn on Eastern Avenue. Anyway. This seems just as busy as Skip the Dishes, but it seems to be a lot less quality food. For sure. Make a right turn on Truman Street. Anyway, let's see what happens. There is no okay, here's there is something. To sort out. Here's something I do not like about this app so far. For example, it's telling me to enter this random parking lot. And I was like, yeah, you'll find this person just randomly standing around the parking lot. Like this is some kind of Simpsons road rage driving game. So now I gotta kind of take a look and, you know, find some dude standing around. I can understand how Uber works, because Uber works like that and they're supposed to look for your car. But now I have to look for some random person in the parking lot who could be literally anyone. It could be that guy, or that guy, it could be that guy, it could be that person. It could be someone that works here. I'm gonna assume it's someone that works here. I'm gonna park out front here. But so far, you can color me not impressed. I don't know what color that is, but you can color me not impressed. Find customer. Okay, so I texted this person. You can hear what happens when I try calling them. Welcome to Uber. Please enter the number associated with your Uber. Is this Manpreet? Am I guessing? Is that Manpreet? Are you Manpreet? Man Media. Oh, Man Media. Sorry. Okay, good. Okay, well that didn't go too bad. Okay, I'm going to go back to my area. I'll be honest, I really, well I have an idea where I am, but I don't know this part of town well, so let me get back into the center of town and get out of this area. Okay, so I'm gonna go offline for a little bit just because I don't know this area very well. And one thing I've noticed for sure, or what it seems to be like anyway, is that there's a lot of low volume, not volume, I guess, low, they call it low price, low price orders, like hamburgers. It seems to be like burgers, which uh, there's not really, well, people are paying way too much money if they're these burgers delivered. Because if I'm making five bucks at delivery on an $8 burger, that means they're paying like $13 for a Harvey's hamburger. Are these guys crazy? That is, it's more than I would pay for it. But I guess, you know, it's also a lot of low income housing. Look at that beautiful Jeep. It's an old YJ that's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to my area because I do not like this area. I don't mind it, I just don't know it. That's a problem. Okay, so I'm taking a bit of a break because I'm hungry and it's eight o'clock. So I've been driving, what, since 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.00, so two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, I made like 20 bucks, so it's not really much. It's kind of crappy. Okay, so I'm going to take a break. Let's get some deep. Okay, so I got my slice and my pop. It's like a buck, 50, actually, it's like a buck a slice. Gained a 2.50 for everything. And I have everything, well, okay, I came to 250 for everything, but I think I'm done for the night. I mean, 20 bucks for two hours is not really enough. I'm sure it's busier on other nights, but I just don't want it to deal with it right now. I'm going to go home, put my kids to bed. Maybe I'll go out later, like after 10 o'clock or so, but right now, uh, I just want to deal with the sun and the 
this area of town is closed because of Carabram. Okay, so that's it. That was the drive. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you're doing this, if you're thinking of doing this, what you think of it. And uh, we shall talk again. Thanks for watching.